Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you my uh, large propagator. Um, at the moment, the propagator only has carnivorous plants in it. So I've been starting off a lot of seeds. Um, and yeah, everything in there I've started off as seeds other than three things which I bought as plants. But I'll show you those. Um, you'll see them obviously. Um, so yeah, I've been growing a lot of droceras, um, sarasemias and venus fly traps from seed. And this is this is the bulk majority of them, but I do have a few more in separate little containers, but I'm not going to show them. I'm just going to show the main um, the main propagator because that's where all the fun is. Um, and a lot of it at the moment does kind of look the same as each other, but that's because they're quite young seedlings, although some of them are a fair few months old but they grow so slowly but um yeah i thought i'll just share it because it's quite interesting and i'll turn the camera on now and show you right so first up here we've got some venus fly traps these are b52s uh, well they're b52 crosses so um i crossed my own b52s together and this is the result um, it does not mean that the babies are all going to come out with the same traits uh, with fly traps they often don't carry the same traits as the parents or you could get lucky and they'll come up with a completely different trait or like an enhanced trait. Um, so they were sown, well, I've just wrote 2022, but I think I sowed these in January um, and we are now in May. So they're looking quite good. They're looking promising. Uh, no color, but B B52s B don't show much color anyway compared to some other varieties. Um, we'll work our way up. So these ones are Drosera, um, these are the Alicia giant forms. Um, I sowed these in, also in January and I kind of just sowed these because I had leftover seed and I had a space in the propagator so I thought I would just stick them in there. Um, if I transplanted these out this year and put them into like either individual pots or into a larger pot and spread them out a bit they'll get a lot bigger um, but I'm not in a rush to do that so um that's just them uh this container here is a mix i did i did grow some pepper seeds in there and i took them out and since um there's now i think that's a rosanna um drosa rosanna in there and there's one just here but i always find that when i grow them in the propagator they grow very strange like they get really tall and not very dewy uh, whereas the ones that are in the garden are completely red and very healthy looking. So they definitely don't like it in the propagator. But I started these up um, from Gemier in the propagator during the winter just to keep myself occupied. Um, again, here I've got some Scorpioides droseras. These are uh, the pygmy sundews. And they're looking, they're definitely healthy, uh, but they are definitely ready to go out into the garden or into the greenhouse. Um, but they're looking, yeah, they're looking promising. Uh, next to that, we've got a couple more Rosannas, um, not looking at the picture of health. Um, but yeah, just, you know, a bit of fun. Um, and then here we've got some more Rosannas. The thing with this propagator and how humid it gets, the moss grows so quickly. So uh, on some of the containers I've had to pick out a lot of the moss because it is like really out competing with the plants um, here we've got some more fly traps um, these ones are Ake Ryu which is also known as Red Dragon uh, not showing any colour yet but once I take them out into the greenhouse and like give them a bit more space um, they'll get a lot more sun and they will definitely show a bit more colour um, then this pot here we've only got two seeds come up um, and this is uh, these are green wizard crosses but I, I'm not expecting that they will carry any traits of the green wizard um, yeah only two came up as you can see there uh, next over we have my Drosera Adelaide this is the lance leaf Drosera um, and this one was in my greenhouse over winter last year and it just survived the winter and then this winter it i didn't want to risk losing it so i brought it in and it is growing 
well, it's growing really well and um, it's actually got some flowers coming. Um, yeah, but it's looking really good. I will probably take that out into the greenhouse maybe this month uh, because there's no risk of any frost anymore, I don't believe. Um, so I think we are good to go and they're ready to go outside. Um, now this one here, we've got, um, this is Excellence, so Saracenia Excellence. Um, you can just see, I don't know, there's, there's so much moss, um, but you can just see them growing throughout there. Uh, these ones have bent over, I think, where I just pulled it out and the dresser pushed up against it. Oh no, oh, I'm going to bend one of the leaves, that's okay. That's all right, I've bent a couple of the leaves, so it doesn't matter. Um, here are some Asbo seeds that I sowed literally, uh, I want to say this week. Um, so nothing on there yet. Then this one is an interesting one. So I actually bought these, these online. Um, and they were sold to me as uh, Drosera Bermanii Humpty Doos. But having, like now they've grown quite a lot, I strongly believe that they are not. Bermani eyes. I think they are some type of spatulata, uh, but if you guys have any better idea, let me know. Um, next to that, I've got two Drosera venustas, which are looking absolutely amazing. Let me actually grab those so we can get a better look. Um, I'll just balance them on here. Uh, these I've wanted for quite a while, and I bought them on eBay. I think I got them for like, uh, they must have, maybe they were like fiver. Um, and there is a little baby one coming up just there, so they're looking good, and they get a beautiful red colour. And that is exactly why I wanted one, they are just so pretty. To be fair, the, these ones are really pretty too, I've got to just balance them somewhere that I know they're not going to do any damage. These are also really pretty, the colour is just so lovely, but I think that these are definitely not Burmani eyes. Uh, but that's okay. I think I only paid a couple of... Well, I paid like... I think I paid £5 for those. And then... I, no, maybe this was £6 actually, these two. But these are worth... These are definitely worth that because you don't see them come up very often. Right. Next up, I've got... This is just a Drosera um, Capensis Alba. Um, so the centre one I divided out of a larger plant. And then around the base is a lot of seed-grown... Um, Capensis albas that um, one of my friends gave me, so they have grown. I just put, I sewed them in the same pot as the original alba, just to thicken it up, and they're looking good. Although the browning around the edges is it dried out a bit too much one day last week, and because this is a south facing window, it just scorched them. Um, but they come back really well. Right here we've got um, Drosera spatulata. This is a cultivar. Um, something Arthur, like MT Arthur or Mount Arthur, something like that. Um, and there are so many have grown, so I'm going to need to do something with them pretty soon, otherwise they're really going to become a problem and start killing each other. <laughs> uh, this next pot here, I did have some um, Cunifolia droceries in there, but seeds but they didn't germinate so i've now got my drosera regia seedling they're not looking too happy but this is the one chance it's having and if it doesn't survive then it's that's its life ended i don't know i've just i've grown them from seed like twice now and both times i get to a point where i just stop looking after it so this is my last chance i'm not going to give myself any more chances if this little guy doesn't survive, I'm just going to buy an adult plant um, rather than growing it from seed. Uh, here we've got, this is Drosera co coxicorlis. Yes. Um, these are grown from seed. There is, I believe, three. Oh, there's a few more than three, actually, because there's a couple down there, too. Um, not really looking like anything special just yet, but um, they've germinated, so that's good. Uh, next over, we actually have, this one is Admirabilis, um, but if any of you are familiar with Admirabilis, you will probably quickly spot that um, I think I was sold fake seeds. <laughs> These are definitely Capensis, I think, because the Admirabil Admirabilis looks a lot more like a 
LCA, like the shape and the form. So I think these are definitely not not accurate. Um, but yeah, we'll move on from that. Um, next up we have Drosera. This is um, Hercules and you can tell already that they are definitely true seeds because they look super cool already and they're so young still. Um, so they're looking really good. There's so many germinated in there. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Next up we have, this is a seed of a Hummer's Hammerhead um, Saracenia and you can really tell the shape is so different to say these ones which are a, a Saracenia Bronze Blush. You can just tell that the very different cultivars so I'm really excited to see. There is only one that's germinated of the Hummer's Hammerhead um, but yeah we're gonna go with that and hopefully it'll bring up something nice. Um, the bronze blush here, these all germinated really well. Um, these were from my own plants and they're looking good. Um, I'm in no rush to, I'm not like excited about these ones because they are just very bog standard. Like the, I don't think any exciting new traits are going to come up in these seedlings. I don't think they're going to look like anything super special, but growing them from seed is really fun. And yeah, no, it's going to be good to see what they look like. Um, then down here we've got a couple of uh, pings, so we've got some Pinguicula esserianas just here and here. Um, this one down here actually lost this label, but it is a different one. This this baby one here, um, don't know the name. Um, and then we've got some very strange crosses, I don't know if you want to pause and quickly look at that cross. Um, but they've germinated nice and well, these are Saracenias. And then we've got another load of cross here, um, which have all germinated really well as well. So that is the propagator at the moment. Um, looking very healthy. Um, yeah, I just really need to get on top of this moss. But I think once I take some of these plants out, I think that moss is going to die off very quickly. So I don't think it'll be a long term problem. Yeah, so that is that. Um, I've got really hot set in this window. I'm like sweating. So I'm going to leave it there. But if you guys enjoyed, uh, let me know, uh, leave a comment. If you guys are growing any carnivorous plants from seed and you've got questions about how to, uh, ask in the comment and in the comments, yeah, and I'll I'll let you know my how I do it, what, what I've found best. Um yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a very quick video, but it's good to show you something, I guess. Um yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.